So I went to go see Synchronicity, or well, I would have gone to go see Synchronicity had it been playing anywhere near me, and had this not been Virginia, and the blizzard hadn't come through. Uh, instead, thanks to the magic of simultaneous digital releases, I stayed in and saw Synchronicity. So, yay. In a lot of the advertising, they were talking about how if you liked Dark City and Blade Runner, you'd enjoy Synchronicity. And I was totally behind that, because quite frankly, I loved both of those films, particularly Dark City. And more movies like that, I will be very happy. Unfortunately, that kind of only holds true if you consider the visuals of those two films, because when it comes to storytelling, Synchronicity just doesn't quite manage to hold up. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the story is particularly bad, because it's not, it's just it's not particularly good either. The problem with it is, it's about as subtle as a sledgehammer to the skull, and that's not really how a sci-fi mystery time loop noir thing should work. It should have clues that you catch on second and third watchings that, that sort of open up the story to you, right? They should have that the reveal that, that you think back to earlier in the story and go, oh right, that's what that was about. And unfortunately, aside from like one little thing which is kind of a cheat, none of that exists in this film. Everything is immediately obvious from the start. You're like, oh right, that's obviously a thing from another time loop. Okay, right, I gotcha. We're like, oh, he, the, the, the main character thinks this, but no, it's really obvious that it's really another time loop. It's just, it's just not subtle, which is not what I want from a time travel story, right? I mean, aside from, you know, comedy time, eh, let's not get into it. But in this sort of story, it's not what I'm looking for. And it's, it's, it just comes across as slightly shoddy storytelling. It's still fun, but it's not really satisfying. The film does look very nice, particularly if you enjoy the whole 80s neo-noir sci-fi aesthetic a la Blade Runner. There's harsh lights, smoke in the background all the time, in excess of what people are seen smoking in the film. Uh, it just, just looks very 80s. The whole thing feels very 80s. It's partially due to the, the soundtrack, which is very sort of 80s synth, which is kind of a popular thing in a number of movies recently, but, but it just just 80s aesthetic oozes out of this film, and as I mentioned, it, it does work. It looks quite pretty in parts. Now maybe the film was just sunk for me as soon as I heard Dark City and Blade Runner. Maybe I was just expecting too much from it, things that it couldn't actually ever provide me. At times it felt like it was overly complex and clunky without really having any subtlety to it, and at times it was just not complex and clunky but just way too unsubtle. I won't say it was bad, because it really wasn't. It just, just overall, it was, it was all style, no substance, really. Now, if you like that sort of style, by all means, go ahead. And if you just want to watch a, a, a interesting, a good ideas sci-fi film, then you can do worse than this. Uh, but in the end, don't really go out to the theaters and see it. Maybe, maybe just rent it. That's pretty much it. You know. Anywho, until next time, folks. Enjoy film.